go off of emotion and feeling. So my music is really dictated upon two things really. The, the emotion that I'm feeling that day and the type of canvas I have to use, which is the beat. And I'm back up on my mission Visions that I'm having In fact, I'm reminiscing Pistol in my right palm Whistle, but I'm quite calm Crystal with the light bomb Chisel like a white dawn Drift in the sea Quick to die for defeat It's 360 degrees That make my cipher complete I keep my waves lateral With the blackness of an animal I'm allergic to whack Shit not compatible Case Fox, he's free If you actually When you listen to his flow Nothing holds him back he's, like, You can give him any Any track, any beat He'll find a way To rap to it Even if it's off beat. It's so obvious, dog. I be prominent, dominant. When I see you, dog, I stay vomiting. That mean I'm sick with it. Prolific, he's gifted like a rich kid on Christmas. Listen to a song from Case Park. I mean, it's like usually about love and it. If it's about a gold digger, it's about it's it's real situations. It's not these overinflated um images that you see constantly on MTV and BET and you know what people think rap is. It's real hip hop. It's from the heart. It's human. It's human. It's hard to mention, see when daddy died from operations He birthed ambition, but sadly get died from complications In moderation, I be sipping, but it's still Heard you see my mama pinching ain't Case Bosch music is authentic to me I feel like he speaks for um, real people He's very well-rounded Like, he, he's not a one-dimensional artist um, He works very hard He needs to be heard Because there's more to music than just jewelry and cars And kill Back to it like I never left, feel the rush The vision past days when I used to take the bus Rhyming in my brain and couldn't see the way we hustling Riding on the chain, we took the E to J to suffer Him, I could say that the majority of his music is really touching people's soul, you know, when he, when he had his songs touch touch your heart. It's authentic hip hop. And not to say that nobody else has that, but nobody kind of tells the story the way he does. His music is not like on one topic. He talk about a lot of stuff, not about just money and money, 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 cars. He talk about life, love, like, you know, the stuff that average people go through in life. As a young child, he was very creative extremely creative. Um, he started drawing and um, many times like when I would go to you know school to uh, visit his teachers um, they would have all of his work dis displayed as I was walking down the hallway. He loved to write poetry. Books and books and books you know when you go to his room like a thousand books he'd always be rhyming and um, so it wasn't um, surprising to me you know, when he started rapping. My path to music was was really organic. You know, I grew up listening to my pops. He was a, a jazz player. So, you know, I, I grew up on a lot of jazz music. And then my mom, she was like on the other side of the spectrum because she's a church lady. So, you know, there's a lot of gospel music being played in the house. And then I started getting into hip hop later on as the years went on. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like a melting pot when it comes to music for me. I've known him for 10 years. Um, and he's come a very, very long way. Um, if you listen to some music that he's done in the very beginning, and if you listen to now, you wouldn't think he's the same person. It's a lifestyle being able to take whatever you do and double up on that to be able to, like, if you like to make movies or you like to sing or you like to, you know, write, to take those talents and continue to double up on what that is and that meaning to you that you can move forward and progress. Sparks really holds it all together. Like He is like the glue of Double Up Entertainment. It's like a family more than a business because we all known each other for many, many, many years. Double Up Entertainment is a, a label that I created in 2006 because I got tired of dealing with all the politics of the industry and everything. What really caused me to create it was like around at the end of uh, 2005, I had just got uh, approached by Universal Records, an uh, A&R up there, and um, you know, he was telling me about what they wanted in terms of sound and in the direction that they wanted me to go. I wasn't really in agreement with it, so I just decided to do my own thing. So you know, it's it's really like a movement that really personifies what I'm about. You know, expression, being yourself, not being told what to do. Hey, yo, I'm sitting in this corner, drifting off a memory, smoking, choking, choking while I'm sipping on this Hennessy. He put out a song like every Monday for a whole year, like that's big. Manic Monday just took off, man, it just took off. My goal as an artist was to actually just put out quality music every single week with original production, because you take into account the lyrics, the hooks, all that stuff, 
you know, that's what I wanted to get to the people every week. So that's why I did it, you know, and it worked. You know, I mean, people now know K Sparks because of that. Right now I'm working on two projects. I'm working on a project with Il Sugi from Japan. And it's basically a Queen's Japan project. He's doing all the beats. I'm lacing all the lyrics. And uh, we're looking like late 2012 that should be coming out. And then also Pop Joe's old, me and him are working on a, a follow-up project too, the Pop the Demand. I posted up and made my mark in this game. So physically and lyrically, you best to stay in your lane. Be real and be yourself. You know, nobody can tell your life like you can. Keep working on your craft. Never stop. Like, never give up. Keep, because every day you let you practice, you're getting better every day. Musicians nowadays, you don't have to be the best. I just feel that you have to be the most consistent. And as long as you're the most consistent, then you'll definitely get something from it. You have to be able to take criticism. People are not gonna like everything that you do. That's what a lot of people don't understand. They hear one negative thing and it kind of like destroys them. When people sometimes look at trying to make a name, they, they're, they're trying their best to fit in and they try to think of an angle. What can make people notice me? And I think there's only one you, be yourself. If there's a hustle, then You'll do whatever you need to do and do whatever type of music is out. If it's a passion, and you'll stay yourself and eventually it'll pay off. Uh, the most important thing that I, I could tell somebody is to make sure that your business is in order because a lot of artists, we, we get taken advantage of because of our passion. Just strive, strive for excellence as Kay Sparks. You know, I think he's a perfect example. We've been through a lot, like everyone else but you gotta look beyond the storm and you have to see the sunshine and know that brighter days are coming by and by. Quickly couldn't man up and take For them soldiers overseas up in the war that they don't understand Persevering daily, ducking bullets on the foreign land It's for them kids in foster care that never felt love It's for them teens that struggle, so they sell drugs It's for them underground rappers that like to spit But got discouraged along the way and so they gave up and quit Cause With Sunshine, I wrote that song at, at a very, very difficult time in my life You know, it was a lot going on, personal issues and stuff like that It's like an anthem for the world that no matter what you're going through, no matter what your your situation is presently, there's always going to be that that positive that comes at the end. You know, if you just persevere. Uh, 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 uh,